Hey, my name's Chris, and I'm an engineer here at National Instruments, and I'm going to show you how to use the NI Example Finder. The NI Example Finder is a utility that's built in a lab view that lets you browse and search hundreds of different example VIs. So if you're looking to perform a particular task in LabVIEW, you should always check the Example Finder first. That way you don't have to start programming from scratch. So we'll go ahead and switch over to LabVIEW here, and we can open the Example Finder by going to Help and then Find Examples. And now once that opens, we can see all the examples are organized in different folders by task. So I can browse the Analyzing and Processing Signals folder or the Building User Interfaces folder. And in addition, if I'm using an NI hardware driver, that driver is going to automatically install examples that are specific to the driver into the example finder. So I can double click on this hardware input and output folder and we can see a list of all the different examples for the hardware drivers that I have installed. In addition, if we want to search for a particular function or a particular example, we can use the search tab here. And let's search for an example for an FFT. And after I do that, we'll see we've got a lot of different results here. And if I want to figure out what each of these example does, I can click on them. And over on the right hand side, there's an information pane, which gives me a description of what that particular example does. There's also a submit tab if you ever wanted to submit your own examples to put into the example finder. So we're going to go back to the browse tab. And there's a nice feature here at the bottom left hand corner that lets me add a particular hardware device that I'm using and filter all the results by that device. So I'm going to click and add my device and go to the hardware tab. And in this case I'm using a USB 6008 device. So after I click on that, I can click that right hand arrow and add it over and hit OK. And now we'll see it in my drop down menu and I can select it and then select to limit results to that hardware. And so now if I go into the hardware input and output folder and then DACMX, let's select an analog voltage generation example. And now we'll see one here. I can double click to open it up. And now I can show my block diagram. And if we look on the bottom of the block diagram, there's documentation which tells me how the example program functions. And if I want more detail on individual sub VIs, I can enable context help. So you'll see an icon on the top right hand corner of your block diagram that turns on and off the context help or you can use control H. And now when that's enabled, I can mouse over individual sub VIs to get information about the inputs and the outputs and what the function of that sub VI is. If I want more detailed information, I can also click on detailed help. And that's going to open up the help file for that individual sub VI where it gives a detailed description of what that function does and more details on the individual inputs and outputs. And so that's how you use the NI Example Finder in LabVIEW.